we have a circle and it has its center at five negative two. So some circle practice, we're gonna ignore answers because we wanna prepare for you know any type of answer choices. Remember that it's gonna be X and the opposite of what your center is squared. So because it's positive five, you make it negative five and then it's plus your Y, same thing. It's gonna be the opposite. So it's plus two because it's negative two up above. And then finally, it's equal to your radius squared. So you should notice squared, squared, squared. And then finally, they give us a point. Remember a point is an X and a Y. So all I would do is I would plug in one for my X. I would plug in seven for my Y and I can solve for R, but you know, I'm not doing any algebra by hand. I'm just gonna plug this in Desmos. So I already have our function here. I have the one in for X, the seven in for Y. And then again, when you want Desmos to do your algebra for the letter you're solving for, you make it X and it gives me this weird value. But remember, I don't want radius, I want radius squared. So instead of typing that, I'm gonna go ahead and export it. I'm gonna get rid of my, you know, like coordinate notation and I'm gonna square it because they want radius squared on the right side of my equation. And anytime you see a value like this, what it means is there was like a repeating decimal, but 97 is actually my value. So I go back to my paper here and I say that my R squared is actually gonna be 97. So looking through my answers, I get rid of D because it's a 25. And then I wanna look for negative five and positive two. And it looks like it's gonna be C here. 